And tell me a little bit about the history of CBTI. I mean, we can go back to the 1970s. I remember when I was learning cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, one of the most fun um, studies to read about was this study of, I believe it was college-aged men who were not doing well academically. And what they did with these young men is they told them, all right, you're going to be assigned a carol in the library. And in this carol is the only place you can study. You can't study in your dorm. You can't study outside. You can't study anywhere else. Just this carol, right? And only this amount of time can you study each day. Trained pe- these young men to just study in that one place. And it succeeded in helping these men One of the hallmarks of cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia is your bed is only for sleep. There are two things you're allowed to do in bed. I always tell my patients, your two things that you can do in bed are sex and sleep. If you're not sure if something counts, message me and I'll I'll clarify it for you real quick, whether it counts in one of those two buckets. A lot of times when people are struggling with sleep, you know what they're doing in their bed? They're reading, they're scrolling, they're watching TV, they're listening to podcasts, they're they're doing like everything. A lot of people, by the time they get to me, they're camping out in their bed just in case they're able to sleep. Oh, I'm going to go have a snack in bed because if I'm sleepy enough, I'll roll over and take a nap and I'll get some extra Z's, right? So people have moved so much of their lives into their beds that it's completely dissociated from sleep. The other key component of CBTI is that we restrict the amount of time that a patient is in bed to match how much time their body can actually produce of sleeping. A lot of times people with insomnia will say, okay, I need to be in bed for at least 12 hours if I want to get seven hours of sleep, right? I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. Um, and those were among the earliest earliest parts of CBTI. And what we know from dismantling studies is when you take either of those out of the treatment, no dice, 